They take him on the show. He's sitting there, and uh, he, they they wouldn't even he wouldn't be on the show because they wouldn't take him seriously. They'd laugh at him. <laughs> it's fucking. It's, oh my god! I gotta find that video. I know I saw it in the sidebar. <clears throat> Was it beakish? Bronky child. I'm gonna pay my cable bill here pretty soon. It was due uh, the other day. Yeah, you need to pet some. Yeah, they don't have a... Oh, wait. Um, Man, I wish I could have got your whole reaction on camera. Oh, where is that other one? Okay, here's part three. Oh, no, 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 that's not her. Dude, you gotta you gotta describe more of that stuff, dude. You, you, you were doing great. Mm, yeah, I already described it. Some more described. Yeah, but I got the camera going now, and, like... You gotta pet some beaks? Yeah, I do pet beaks, but apparently you don't. You hate the beak with all your heart and you soul. You do? That's really sad. Why would you do that? Why would you hate the beak? <clears throat> you do. So, uh, yeah, you, 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 uh, you like poop mouths? No. Yeah. But Dr. Phil does. You know, he defends Hey, look, them. we got a white knight here. <laughs> really, what'd you say? If I was the father of this girl, or a brother, or a good friend, or a casual YouTube viewer, I would beat the shit out of this guy. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Until that guy happened to be him. Yeah, exactly. And also, it's like, do you think you're going to get some fucking, some used up pussy from that bitch if, if you do that for her? Because going to happen. Yeah, he, he apparently, obvious, but he obviously thinks he's going to get some reward, you know, for, for st you know, def taking these people's side. No, they're just going to use them. It's like my former owner used me, and then her mom used some, uh, you know, the dad and all that. I mean, they just look, look at this guy. 18 is just a number. Jail is just a room. And this same man has been put in jail for molesting a 15 year old girl, so that's definitely a good reason to beat the shit out of this guy. Like, if that's factual evidence that he has been, that's something else. Like, that's actually different. But so far on the show, there hasn't been any fucking mention of, uh, you know, previous charges. And there probably won't be. I mean, there could be, but. Shit's all staged anyway. Yep. They hate the beak. So heavy. But they won't because they hate it. <clears throat> Dude, check out that video. I need to. I, I need to t to take in your wisdom. Do what now? Oh, get 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 one of the videos started up. Okay, put some beats. No, I do pet beats. You don't. Do you find it odd that you're living with a teacher that's 23 Obviously years old? Not. Than you? She's living yeah. there. <laughs> Are you at all concerned about his wife and his three children? Oh, I am concerned. Yes. I oh, mean, do you want that's funny because. Because a minute ago, she was like, Well, I wasn't even thinking about his wife or kids. Well, of course you weren't, because you're a fucking woman, and the only thing that matters is what you think about yourself and how you're going to get what you want. The other thing that I think is funny is, uh, I don't even remember what, what was it she just, it was just said that uh, I thought was funny. I don't remember why. But. Do you find it odd that you're living with a teacher that's 23 years older than you? No. So I'll have to give Are you, one, you right? at all concerned about his wife and his three children? I am concerned, yes. I mean, do you want to start your adult, if you're using this date, mm -hmm. where you become of a legal majority as the other one? Sorry, but yeah, that, that's kind of the law when you're 18, you're considered an adult. I mean, just because you don't agree with them fucking... It doesn't matter anymore. She's already 18. And if he fucked her beforehand, which is basically all that this episode's about, I just got a pedophile, which he might be, and he may have done it before, but I don't know yet because I've watched his videos, but it really <coughs> doesn't matter because, I mean, what are you going to do to prove that he did to put him in jail? Like, because I agree, if he did do it, then he should be in jail because, you know, that's obviously not right, but it shouldn't just be automatically, w w that's a man and, and that's a student and, and he needs to be dragging the streets and beating, because anytime you see a fucking woman teacher 
and you know a male student it's not a rape it's never statutory rape and it's never abuse uh it's always an affair, it's an or, affair just or she seduced him and it's completely normal cause, cause I mean, what guy's gonna turn it down? If he turns it down, he's gay, right? Well, mm -hmm. he should be lucky if some girl's yeah. interested in him. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he got some pussy and he's only 12 years old. Lucky guy. Like, what the fuck? Woman? What do you mean? You are the other woman. He's no. married with three children. He has left his wife and three children mm -hmm. to go with you. And they, they make a big emphasis on that because obviously he's supposed to provide for them, which, yeah, he, uh, you know, he, uh, has that ball and chain when he fucking goddamn got married and popped out kids with her, but, you know, it's perfectly fine for a wife to leave her husband and go fuck someone else, and it's just, she gets the kids too, obviously, and it's perfectly fine and accepted, and if you bitch about it, you just, you know, get over it, man. But, but when a man does the same thing, it's a horrible thing. How could he abandon his family like that? How are they going to survive? Meh. Uh, she's going to have to get a job now. How can you do that to her? Meh. Like, wh why is it so... It's such a fucking double standard. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that makes you the other woman. Does that bother you? Um, it does, but then it doesn't at the same time. I mean... It does because I know what he's lost. I mean, he gave up his marriage and relationship like that, but it doesn't because Pause I'm happy it. and we're happy. You say it doesn't oh. because you're happy. I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother because she's happy. That's all that matters. Well, it's like, oh, no, we gave up, but it shows that I'm worth it. And yeah. man, my yeah, self esteem, she gets, my she gets validated. And, like, wh what's going to be funny is whenever she, uh, whenever she realizes that she's not happy. Well, I gotta get happy again. Who am I gonna go fuck? And then she's gonna go fuck someone else or leave him for whatever reason. And her justification will be, you know, well, I just wanna be, I just wanna be happy. I deserve to be happy, right? Well, I found out that he's a monster, man. Yeah, that'll be her next, you know. Oh, I've been a hell of a prisoner for years. Well, I didn't know he was like this. He seemed like such a nice guy at first. Oh, I'm so ashamed of my decision, man. Nope. Episode and it'll be like double prisoner. It's like not only is she a prisoner of this perverted sex fiend, but she's also a prisoner of the patriarchy. <laughs> I'm talking about how she, you know, she's too weak and stupid to escape on her own. You know, oh, well, I wanted to leave, but but I was scared. I was scared he's gonna rape me. They had a follow up to this. Like, I don't know when this aired. Um, well, when's the upload date? It's uploaded this year. Well, but that doesn't mean it's from this year. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but, but it doesn't. It's a ten years. Show. Uh, how long has he been on? Uh, you can look up on Wikipedia. Anyway, um, it doesn't matter. I'll look it up in a second. But uh, no, let's go piss Anyway, the point is, Head like, days. they need to have a follow up on this. Mm -hmm. If it happened a couple of years ago, I want to know what happened. Like, because eventually, obviously, they're gonna split up. I mean, he's fucking forty something. And bitch is 18. It does because I know what he's lost. I mean, he gave up his marriage and relationship like that, but it doesn't because I'm happy and we're happy. You say it doesn't say? because you're happy, and I, I think the reason that you say, well, I don't really know, it doesn't. He's lost. I mean, he gave up his marriage and relationship like that, but it doesn't because I'm happy and we're happy. Uh, what? Okay. I'm, it does matter. I, I'm mad at him. I'm not happy. What? Okay. What? What she's saying is. I know okay. what she's saying. Doctor Phil saying asked, it. "Does it or doesn't or doesn't yeah, it matter?" And then and she's like, "It does. It's like, wait, well, it, it does lost, matter it because lost, I know what he gave up. Lost. Now, what is she fucking? But then, but then it doesn't matter because you know I know that we're happy. Yeah, I know that's not what she's saying. Like she's no, like, puppy. Well, I'm on TV show. I'm scared. So it doesn't because you're happy. And I, I think the reason that you say, well, I don't really know, it doesn't really bother me, is because you've, you're not old enough yet. You don't know what it's like to be a wife and be a mother and believe that you have a home and a commitment and then have your husband come home and say, well, you know what? I've met this, this, this girl, a young girl, Mm -hmm. half your age and 
I'm, I'm going to follow my heart and pursue my relationship with her. Oh, okay. Well, and let's see. As I said earlier, what is, what is always preached to women in these fucking goddamn romance novels, and really in any situation that it can be used to get them out of consequences, you always hear these fucking these fucking poop mouths and why is just nothing but a number and follow your heart and you just gotta find your happiness, girl. You go, girl. Mer, mer, mer. But a guy does it. Like, I'm not saying it's right that he fucking did what he did. What you're saying is it's wrong in the way it's handled? It's wrong on it's both handled. ends. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it is wrong on both ends because... It's wrong on both ends if it's wrong for one fucking side. Oh, I know. It should be wrong on both fucking sides. Yeah, not if it's just, wrong, it's wrong. Yeah, not just, well, it's wrong because it, but, but, but not for, you know, I mean, it's different. I, I should, uh, no, it's, there's, there should be one fucking, I'm not saying, not there should be a universal standard. Well, yeah, but not everything, not everything's in black and white, but certain things are, like that, like yeah. that situation, um, why, what the fuck? If it's not all right for old people to have sex with kids, then old people shouldn't be having sex with kids, whether it's men yeah, or women. Male or female. It shouldn't yeah. be fucking that hard to concept. It shouldn't be, well, it's all right for an old woman to have sex with a young boy, because, meh. Yeah. But then, well, it's just wrong for an old man to have sex with a young boy. He raped her. And she said they're going, well. And this, if it was a guy, and I, I don't want to sound like ignore gender and just rephrase everything. Like, he has really good videos, but, you know, I don't want to just, re if it was a guy, this would happen, but if, if it was, let's say it was a 41-year-old female teacher and an 18-year-old male, like, because the, th the thing here is, she's 18, he's 40-something, I think 41, it, it's legal, as far as it's, you know, yeah, the age, it's, it's legal, no, I mean, like, he may have, you know, been with her before then, but, they're like trying to prove that on here, I guess. Anyway, um, it's legal, and it, but but it's apparently not. It's still not good enough. So, if it was a 41 year old female teacher and an 18 year old male student, it wouldn't be on the show for one thing because it's not you know well, who who cares? <laughs> he wants to get some of that cooter pushy. Go ahead and let him. But it's like it they it wouldn't even be an issue. Like no one would care. Because, well, he's 18. What are you going to... Like, why is... Why are people so... I, I just don't... I well, don't I mean, people get all fussy about age. I mean, like, look, okay, my former owner was just about 11 years younger than me. Okay, I was 30 and she was 19. Okay, but the thing is, there's a difference because I didn't even... I, I did not know that she even existed. And she had been, <clears throat> in her own words, stalking me um, for, you know, for six months and all that, where she's been, you know, recon. yeah, secret admirer and all this kind of stuff. And I didn't even know who she was or whatever. And I definitely did not pursue her. She, um, she pursued me. Oh, and everybody was all fine with it. They're like, well, age is nothing but a number. Well, well, you should follow your heart and all this other shit, right? Yep. Practically 11 years difference. It was 10 years and 8 months or something like that, all right? <clears throat> and nobody had a problem with it. Why? Because the girl pursued me, all right? But you remember what happened, you remember what happened last year, right, with a different girl? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, a girl that... Was, that, that was... What was that? That was more of a difference, but only by, like... Uh, a year, a or year. a few months, or six months, or something. Yeah, they, almost a year. complete opposite. Yeah, and what it was is this girl was 12 years younger than me, and then I didn't even really pursue her. I was just interested in her. Wasn't she older at that time than Megan was? And my my former owner? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, same age. So, uh, so when it's, it's the same exact thing. Yeah. But it, it wasn't it wasn't seen as being okay then. Yeah, I was thirty one and then this other girl was nineteen. Nineteen, a year older than the legal age. And and I didn't even pursue her. I just wanted to and I was interested in her and all that and then people found out and it was a big fucking deal. I almost lost my job over it and all this shit and it caused a lot of suffering, misery and heartache on my end. 
uh, and all this shit. And it, I mean, and I was 31 and she was 19, and I didn't even pursue her or anything like that. It's just people found out that, that I was interested in her and that sort of thing, and apparently that's enough to be regarded as a fucking crime or whatever. And then, but yet, a girl who was 19, and now a year prior, you know, being in 2010, uh, you know, a girl who was 19 and yet I was 30 pursues me, and everybody's all fine with it, and they're all happy for me, and they're all like, oh, we're so supportive, and it's all great. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the chick that, that pursued me was practically stalking me. Well, in her own words, she described it as stalking. She's like, oh, and, and she said it like like I was supposed to get flattered, like, oh, yeah. I was stalking you for six you're months. you're a dude. Yeah, I'm a dude, and, and I'm supposed to be flattered that some chick's interested in me and all that. I, I'm just sick of this double like, standard. I'm sick like, of the shit. Well, like, you goddamn better be interested in her, because she went through all this trouble. You know. Oh, I know, and she called me up on the phone and all that, and she's like, I want a relationship with you and all that, and, and she was so vulnerable, and guess what? I did not turn her down. I accepted, and I should have rejected her. But, you know, I wanted to give her a chance like nobody did for me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's part of it. And, and another thing is I didn't know how she was. I didn't even know her. I gave her a chance. And at first she put on a show of being a, a, a good girl who is all fine with the patriarchy and being a housewife. And, all, and then she fast-tracked me through all kind of shit. Five weeks after the first date, we're living together. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even my idea. She's She got kicked out of her place where she was living in, and then, well, again. And then she always, this is pattern. Everybody always kicks her out. And, gee, I wonder why. So anyway, and she got kicked out of the place she was living in, and then she got put into an apartment that was supposed to be for a week, a transitional thing. And then, well, she didn't get to move out of there, and she didn't want to stay there alone. So she had me stay with her, and I thought, oh, okay, it's just going to be for a couple days, right? No, no, it turned out to be three months. And then I got this apartment here because we wanted to upgrade from living in a practical slum. And, you know, this is done with my money and then helping support from my family, not hers, and all that. And I'm still, you know, two years later, I'm still paying the rent on this place. I'm living here by myself, happily by myself. I got so many hobbies. I mean, I got so much freedom since I kicked her out in uh, December of 2011 because of the little stunt she pulled with trying to make me jealous and try to try to manipulate me into being a white knight and kicking out the ex-boyfriend who she had simply used. Made me believe that she was interested in him or whatever. And just she just uses people. It's horrible. I mean, and, and but but she can because she's got a vagina. Well, yeah. And well, now she's got a new victim. You know, less than nine months after I kicked her out of here, she finds herself a new victim, and all that. Here I am. It's been a little over nine months since I kicked her out, and I don't want to replace her. I don't want to date anybody, and all that. And, I, you know, I'm just tired of this shit, like, and, and, if, and if she wasn't totally happy, then she blamed me for all kind of shit, and, I mean, I'd work, I'd, I'd bust my ass at a job that she hated, and that wasn't very satisfying to me either, to pay bills for her and I to have a place to live in. I provided high-speed internet, there was cable TV, um... There was unlimited domestic long distance. We had a bunch of movies, a bunch of video game systems, computer, video games, all, all kind of stuff, books, all kind of stuff. And that wasn't good enough for her. She'd get on Facebook and bitch every day. I'm bored. I wish Christian would come back. Mer, mer, mer. Yeah. And even though we live in town and she could have walked downtown at any time and went to a shop or looked at scenery or whatever, nothing was ever really good enough for her. Oh, but, 
you know, and she she had to have her skulls and dragons, and oh, and she didn't like it that I wouldn't let her smoke in the apartment, and all this other stuff, and then uh, especially after uh, after the kid, and uh, I wouldn't let her smoke in the apartment and all that, and uh, it just, I mean. And, and, you know, on the topic of smoking, I mean, kissing an ashtray. I mean, these bitches, they, they, they gripe about how horrible it is for men to have bad breath. You remember you seen that video of that one chick, right? Talking about, oh, oh, oh man, if you got bad breath, that's oh, definitely a turn off. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, okay. So, like, women do not like it when men have bad breath. Yet, yeah, most women have bad breath nowadays because they fucking smoke. They put burning objects in their mouth. And, yeah, I had my time of kissing a fucking ashtray. And I'm sick of it. I mean, most women are born in a way... Well, many women, I would say, are born in a way which makes them attractive. Physically appealing or whatever. And then they destroy it. Tattoos, piercing, smoking, drinking, drugs... All of it, you know, like it's just gross. So therefore, most women nowadays are not attractive. I mean, it just. I mean, I feel like I'm losing my interest in women because, first of all, I mean, psychologically they are a child, no matter how old they are. I mean, they don't actually grow into adulthood until like what age fifty, maybe sixty. Okay. So if you're dating somebody under the age of 50, you're basically fucking a child, which is sad. I mean, physically, she's an adult and has been an adult. And, you know, if, if, if a woman is 50 years old, she's been an adult for more than 30 years, okay, physically. But mentally, she's just growing out of childhood, you know? And, <clears throat> I mean... It's weird because once you understand how women mentally are and that sort of thing, I mean, it's like, I look at a 30-year-old woman. Thir okay, I'm 32. And when I look at a 30-year-old woman, I think, and, and whenever I, I'm, I'm, like, kind of attracted to her or whatever, I kind of catch myself and it's like, damn, I feel like a pedophile. Even though the chick is only two years younger than me and we're both in our 30s. Why do I feel like a pedophile? Because mentally, she's a child. She, she's still petty. She's still selfish. You know, wants to just bring everybody down to her level and all that. And it's just horrible. And it's stupid. And it's dumb. And, I mean, wh what do you think, Dylan? I mean, you think that's right? They're all, um... They're all mentally... Children, you know, I agree with that. I mean, and it's like, and I look at these females, I'm like, oh, well, she would have been attractive if she didn't have all this ink all up her arm, and, and, you know, and, well, some, well, I was in a place the other day, and some woman had a tattoo right behind her ear, and, like, you know, tattoos on the back of their neck, all in the famous place of right there above their fucking ass crack. And, like, you have to see it every time they fucking bend over to go pick something up or do something. Uh, okay, another place for tattoos is, is um, right behind, uh, you know, the back of the neck. Um, and, uh, let's see, um... Well, somebody I work with had tattoos all up the, her arms and shoulders and all that. Um, and she, oh, the ankle tattoo, the belly piercing, the tongue piercing, the nose piercing, the eyebrow piercing, multiple piercings in the ear. All is just, it's, it's just gross. <clears throat> Smoking all the time. Some of them fucking chain smoke. Uh, I yeah, I was expected to buy my former owner some cigarettes on, you know, occasion and all that. Oh, and yeah, yeah. And whenever she got, you know, whenever she picked up money for whatever reason from somebody else other than me, when it gets spent on, yeah, cigarettes. Um, I mean, they're just that nasty beer breath is just, oh gosh, it's just. 
Mm -hmm. What exactly does this have to do with gender war? Well, I'm just saying, like, w women these days are trashy because they're fucked up. And they're, they're not really anybody to be uh, respected. Like, very few women <laughs> actually earn respect. And, but most of them it, it feel like they're entitled to respect. Would, would you agree? Yeah. And it's like men don't get, like, what I'm saying, men don't just get respect. You don't just get respect. They have to earn it, right? Exactly. No one just gets respect. But they expect it. They expect, like, they think it, they're entitled to it for no reason other than the fact they have a vagina. It's just, I'm, I'm just sick of how women are. And then, like, and then supposedly, like, all men want to rape all women. I mean, why would a guy even, like, get near a woman? Matter of fact. Did you hear 300,000 out of 10 women are raped? Oh, what, 400 trillion out of every three women are raped every yeah. fraction of a second of every day? Yeah, you didn't know that? Well, I mean, I must Pretty be a, I must be a dumb man. And, uh, well, matter of fact, you know, uh, like, I don't know, it was 7 o'clock hour today, I was uh, walking downtown taking pictures of, like, changing color leaves on trees and all that. And, you know, there's some woman walking on the sidewalk, and, and, like, Stardust talks about, yeah, I gave her a wide berth. I, like, went off the sidewalk and got totally away from her and all that, because, like, you know, it's like, oh, you might rape me. I'm going to attention whore some more. And it's just, it's just bad. All right, I'm going to end this video. You got anything else you want to say in closing? Not really. All right, well, why don't you go praise Big Child forever? Beaks. Yeah, I do pet beaks, but you hate the beak. Yeah, yeah you're you swear eternal holy war upon the beak. That's beaks. Yeah, yeah, you need to.